Good evening, Italian wine lovers. Uh, it's me again. It looks like uh, I'm sort of bothering everybody with these videos, but don't you worry. Uh, we just do the Covent Garden video now, and then you're not going to see me for a few days. Anyway, uh, tonight we're here with our top ops man, uh, Stefano Milani, and uh, he loves to import all our wine here in the UK. He looks after our operation, our logistics. So thanks to him that we have so many beauties here in our Covent Garden store. So um, today, tonight, we are going to present to you the two wines that are always on tasting in Vin Italiani Covent Garden. So the same way that we done yesterday with the wines in South Kensington. Um, we have some special stuff today and uh, we are going to make good use of a, a map of Italy following some feedbacks that we had from the previous uh, uh, videos because people are interested in to understand where the regions are and us to tell a little bit more about the wines. But let's not forget that today is Valentine's Day. So for all the people out there that are in love, uh, we are in love Obviously, I'm in love with my wife. I'm a little bit in love with Stefan as well. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's... Who's not in love, love with me? Absolutely. Love absolutely. Love Come on. And um, uh, we are all in love with wine. So, uh, what a fantastic opportunity to present uh, some beauties. And uh, I think what we should do is link the fact that these wines are here on tasting uh, this month of February 2017 with the fact that they actually represent a very good way to do your Valentine's evening. So um, we're not going to pretend we are in a Valentine's <laughs> evenings now, but you need to use a little bit of your imagination. And uh, what we do, we start with a nice Franciacorta. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about the Franciacorta and then Stefano uh, is going to talk about Aglianico, or are the English people say, or the British people say, or the English people, uh, speaking people say, the Aglianico. Please don't say that, it's Aglianico. I know that the Y is a sound that is not very easily pro pronounceable, but please do make an effort. Aglianico. Okay, so I start with Francia Corta, Brut Fratelli Berlucchi. This is a non vintage, so it's not a millesime. Um, we're talking region wise, uh, I'm going to be your weather girl for a few minutes. Uh, we're talking about Lombardia, which is uh, this region uh, on the north of Italy. And we're talking about a, a small piece of land um, just south of the Lake Diseo. You know, Lake Garda, Lake Diseo, Lake Como, the big region of the lakes. It's a fantastic area uh, which has got um, its own microclimate. Uh, where conditions are perfect to grow uh, Pinot Bianco, Pinot Nero and Chardonnay. And uh, I'm starting from the grapes to explain you a little bit more about Franciacorta because what we're talking here, and uh, I'm going to take responsibility for what I'm saying now, so hold on to your horses, is the same method as champagne produced in Italy. So nothing to do with champagne itself. I don't even say champagne. Though we can't say champagne, but yeah, let's, let's, let's be clear is a good way for you to understand exactly what I'm talking about. We're talking about a method champenoise, so there is a second fermentation in the bottle. The Franciacorta Brut 25 not only comes from uh, the family business of our founder, Matteo Berlucchi, that we say hi now, Matteo, Matteo. and uh, Tilly and everybody else of Fratelli Berlucchi. Uh, I know you're watching, so um, great to see you out there uh, watching our presentation. Uh, the Franciacorta uh, Brut 25 is a Chardonnay 100%, what the French calls Blanc de Blanc. Um, so it's made just uh, with uh, Chardonnay grapes. And the number 25 represents the number of months uh, that go be between uh, the grape being picked and the wine going in the bottle. So uh, 18 months is the maturation on, on the lease, the second fermentation on the lease. Uh, seven months is the picking and the first fermentation, and then at the end you get these products after 25 months. And I think for the retail price of £22.50, it represents a fantastic alternative to a mediocre to medium range uh, champagne, because this is a fantastic wine. Um, I'm going to test it now with Stefano. Happy Valentine's, my darling. Chin chin. chin, chin. Right, so here. First difference, you know, I know that everybody thinks around there that um, all Italian sparkling wines are called Prosecco, but this is Franciacorta, you immediately can feel the difference when you, um, when, you, when you smell it on the nose, you know, the aromas are aromas of fermentation, uh, are aromas of yeast, a sort of bready, we could 
could say, crusty, brioche, yeah, crusty, bread, crusty yeah. bread, panettone, so much sort of enriching the experience of just your regular bubbly. Don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against Prosecco. Please do carry on and buy as much Prosecco as you want. But guys, we've seen an enormous um, uh, success of Franciacorta since we opened back in 2011. And I have to say, this is our best-selling Franciacorta. You can't go wrong with it. It's fantastic and uh, you should come and try it. Because here in Covent Garden, we always have a bottle open and you can just have a go before you decide to buy or to try at the table. So, um, here we go. I think uh, I said even too much. Uh, I'm going to pass on uh, the microphone, the virtual microphone to Stefano, that's going to tell us about our trip to Campania. Wow. I think if you want to have uh, something more complex in a Prosecco, more persistent, you go for French Corta. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Very nice. Very long, lingering. Should we just carry on drinking Francia Corta or not? Why not? Oh, let's present, let, let's present some, um, some Talento, some Alianico. Okay, as a red wine that you can find for all the months of February in tasting in our uh, Covent Garden branch, we have Aglianico Talento. As Bruno say, do not say Aglianico, but it's Aglianico. It's quite hard to pronunciation. But it comes from the region of Campania, which is right in the middle between Africa and France. In our, uh, in our, in <laughs> joke, our, joke, joke, joke. <laughs> southern region of Italy, just right here. Um, the producer is Caporino Perdigeri. And Hi, Alexia. Vintage, Hope you're well. Ciao, Alexia. The vintage that we are um, presenting and we have for sale in our internet site, in our shops in uh, Covent Garden and Old Brompton Road are the 2008. Tonight we start. We will have these as a red wine. Yeah. So, so as your Valentine's night is going on, you start with a nice French Corta to ease things up, and then you get into the passion, the heat, and the great sort of flavor that comes out of the, the Alianico. The, the heat, absolutely. You heat things up, and uh, you know, uh, heat well. to you, my Valentine. <laughs> very heat. Very my heat. wine Valentine. <laughs> yeah. But it's very strong. I mean, we we sell this. Um, in our middle range for a uh, red wine, we sell this for twenty-seven pound, and it's uh, very oaky. Okay, this wine uh, it does uh, twenty-four months of, uh, of aging in the bottles, twenty-four months on uh, um, oak. So you can f you can feel it, which is very very strong, like the oaky spiciness, chocolatey. Um, the present uh, the presence is is quite strong. Should we say After a wine that, to be drunk by the fire? In good company, exactly. Possibly not mine or yours. Well, it's well, so it good. Yeah. You can even have it with your boss. <laughs> <laughs> you can nearly have it with your boss. That's well, great. A lover would be better. Yeah, a lover would be better. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure. Uh, especially I'm sure on Valentine's. Especially on Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, well, that's fantastic, and um, I will have to uh, probably add up on food pairing. Yeah. So what do we uh, eat with Franciacorta? And I'm gonna go for Franciacorta being a very good wine to match food with. So uh, if I was you, I wouldn't just use it for an aperitivo, but you can go obviously with the usual fish. Um, I will think about some nice grilled uh, swordfish. This is the sort of thing I will, I will go for. And obviously any, any sort of fish salad, anything fresh. And the aperitivo, let's not forget, celebration and aperitivo, which is the uh, ritual before lunch or dinner that we do in Italy, uh, is ideal. So your cold cuts and cheeses, Fantastic if it's from the same area of production of Francia Corta. You get a lovely Bresaola from there. You get fantastic cheeses from there. Go and visit. You know, if you need us to introduce you to some uh, um, vineyards, Fratelli Berlucchi will be more than happy to give you a nice tasting and a round of the estate. And uh, for what is concerning the Aglianico, what do we go for? I think this is more of a big boy. So we go with game. Uh, with um, brasato, for example. Oh, what's brasato? Brasato, what's brasato? <laughs> what's brasato? <laughs> Slowly cooked meats uh, that sort of give this uh, flavor. It, it needs to be very flavorsome because obviously you don't want the wine to sort of overpower the food. So, but the, the, the body is quite nice. strong. The body is quite strong. Body, sorry, so, um, you do, you, do you think we have our Valentine's evening sorted? 
I think so. Well, well, I think almost. He, yeah, <laughs> almost. I think he's, he's better us to go. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, may I just remind you? Uh, let me just do this little cell pitch. I know, you know, but uh, it's my job. Let me just remind you that you find all these wines on our website, ItalianWines.com. Come and visit us at our uh, wine bars in Scoven Garden and in South Kensington. And if you dine or drink with us, you have the opportunity to get a 20% off any order of six bottles of more and free delivery in central London. If you don't live in central London, sorry for that, we're going to charge you. But never, ne nevertheless, you're going to get a very good deal out of it. So uh, that's all from, from us. Uh, happy Valentine's, everybody. And uh, I'll see you next. Buonasera. Ciao.